Zollinger Ellison syndrome is a rare condition in which one or more tumors grow in the pancreas or in the upper part of the small intestine. The tumors are called gastronomas. These gastronomas produce large amounts of the hormone gastrin. Gastrin causes the stomach to produce too much acid, which leads to peptic ulcers. High gastrin levels also can cause diarrhea, belly pain, and other symptoms. Zollinger Ellison syndrome may occur at any time in life. However, people usually find out they have it sometime between ages 20 and 60. Medicines to cut down stomach acid and heal the ulcers are the usual treatment. Some people also may need surgery to remove tumors. Symptoms of Zollinger Ellison syndrome may include stomach pain, diarrhea, burning, aching or discomfort in your upper abdomen, acid reflux and heartburn, burping, nausea and vomiting. Bleeding in your digestive tract. Losing weight without trying. Loss of appetite. See your healthcare provider if you have a burning, aching pain in your upper belly that won't go away especially if you also have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Tell your provider if you've been using non-prescription medicines to reduce stomach acid. These include Omeprazole, Prilosec, Zedrid, Cimetidine, Tagamet HB, or Famotidine, Pepsid AC. These medicines may mask your symptoms, which could delay your diagnosis. The exact cause of Zollinger Ellison syndrome isn't known. The syndrome begins when one or more tumors form in your pancreas or a part of your small intestine called the duodenum. Sometimes, the tumors form at other sites, such as the lymph nodes next to your pancreas. Tumors that occur with Zollinger Ellison syndrome are made up of cells that secrete large amounts of the hormone gastrin. Zollinger Ellison syndrome may be caused by an inherited condition called multiple endocrine neoplasia, type 1, MEN1. People with MEN1 also have tumors in the parathyroid glands. They may have tumors in their pituitary glands as well. About 25% of people who have gastronomas have them as part of MEN1, they also may have tumors in the pancreas and other organs. If you have a first-degree relative, such as a sibling or parent, with MEN1, it's more likely that you'll have Zollinger-Ellison syndrome.